and welcome to June. I know you can't believe that it's June already. This year has literally, and I know that I say this all the time, but it has literally flown by. Um, but in like, but also for like we have, or I have got so much done already. So that's good going. Is this halfway through the year? No. Yes, it must be right because it's the six months. So we are halfway through the year. Mind blown. I'm in my sports gear as I've just done a quick workout. It is the start ish of the bank holiday weekend. Um, the long ones. So this is for the Queen's Jubilee. So we get four days off, including the weekend, which is really nice. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Luke is with Jack's mum at the moment. So we have a little bit of time to ourselves. And where I've started my new job recently, which I don't know if I mentioned, but I've started a new job. Hooray! Um, I have been so busy, like just training, um, being in the office more frequently, that I feel like I haven't really spent a lot of time with Jack, like one on one. So I thought it would be a really nice idea. I'm going to come sit down here now, literally moving around the whole room. Um, I thought it'd be a really nice idea if we took a night away to ourselves um, and spent and stayed in a hotel in London. Um, so we've booked a hotel, which I actually wanted to be a surprise, but we could, um, like, just in terms of coordinating everything with Titus, um, it just wasn't, like, gonna work. So it's not a surprise, but he does know and we're, and he's excited and happy and so yeah it's a it's a spa hotel so there's a spa in the hotel and we're gonna go out and maybe have a few drinks uh, i'm actually gonna go to somewhere that i've already been i went with my um with some friends from work a month or two ago it's called high jingo it's been great place when i went i was really drunk so i don't actually i do remember it but like i wasn't fully emerged in the experience whereas today i'm going to be because i'm so excited it was so good it's like I can't even describe it to you properly, but I will show you in the video. Um, it's like a third dimension sort of bingo world, which is Black Mirror vibes, that kind of thing. <clears throat> so we're going to go there on like our date night. And then we're going to go and stay in the hotel and hopefully use some of the spa facilities. Um, so yeah, it's a really cute little evening plan. I'm very excited. Um, I've been manifesting a spa for a while. I feel like I need one. <laughs> um and yeah basically for the rest of the week i've got a couple more things planned we're gonna go pick luke up tomorrow <laughs> in Cabo to shake off my cargo it went a little bit farther I then blew my top off now I'm six by Arsenal I didn't drive my car home when I drank that charcoal man I miss my mom's so ask me how it feels I say it feels too real when you pick up speed go pitch black wheel well you got your thoughts all the in the deep what about your heart? Does it be too hard? Mine does. Mine does. Mine does. Mine does. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran around Lake Tahoe. Not once, no stops, no. Cause I'm a brand new model. With a brand new this is a kind of tipsy room tour because I've had two cocktails this evening so we're not totally with it. So this is a stunning room. As you enter there's this gorgeous door. <laughs> and you've got like this massive space here which is really nice and that thing there he comes with the room and he's the personal butler then we've got some cupboards um there's 
not really anything in the cupboards. Oh, some cute little slippers. Cute slippers. This is a safe. Actually, there's no mini fridge in here. Oh, there is. But it's empty. Oh, look at this cute little tea station. What have we got? <gasps> Chucky Bicky. Extra points for the Chucky Bickies. Do they have hot chocolate? Doesn't look like it. Okay. That's okay. We can live without hot chocolate. Um, there's a nice, cute, full length mirror. Then big TV and makeup desk. And really nice bed. And then this is the main vent the bathroom which has underfloor heating and air conditioning and a light so you just tap on it to get it to come on so that's off and then that's on how cute is that bathroom's really nice as well got a lovely big shower we've got a nice big sink i love a big sink lots of space some towels, a light up mirror. And the toilet. I think it's a four and a half out of five. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Very happy. I didn't actually see the view. What's the view like? It's good. This is the view, lovely view. Stunning. Absolutely drop dead gorgeous. This isn't what we should be doing at quarter past midnight right now. Late night dessert. Why not? I'm not going to benefit from my life. So this is the bed. best thing to be doing at quarter past midnight. Mm -hmm. This is this is exactly what we should be doing. How is it? Bad. Yeah, I called up Carlos. Said I won't be calling. He said in my old tempo. It wouldn't make much sense though. Yeah, ask me how it feels. I say feels so real. When you pick up speed, close to pitch black we When you got your thoughts, all the in the deep. What about your heart? Does it beat too hard, my life?
didn't end kind of talking properly in this vlog and like tomorrow is the last day of vlog so here we are cramming everything all in again such a life i thought i would come on and kind of catch you up on how things have been going so i'm just doing my skincare routine um we're about to go out and do a bit of shopping um so i'm just doing my skincare routine so i may as well talk you through that as well it pretty much hasn't changed since i last did it which was a while ago but um i think i've rushed through it so i didn't explain it too properly but basically just cleanse my face like with with um the cleanser and i'm now gonna use this um sweet chef celery and hyaluronic acid serum shot as my first serum um I honestly feel like this whole like since pretty much since the new year it has just been such a whirlwind obviously like i'm gonna say covid isn't really a thing anymore like obviously it, it is but in terms of the way like the world has gone pretty much back to normal and i think i'd kind of forgotten what that was like obviously we've been two years living differently to the way we usually would um which is a long time and i think i kind of forgotten what you know real life was and obviously when you have missed out on two years it's probably even busier than it would usually be so it does feel like just like in every aspect of my life i don't even know if you can tell by the vlogs um <clears throat> things are just like a lot more go 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 um which i like in some ways but um yeah, I definitely feel like I've got such a long to-do list at the moment and it just keeps getting longer. I'm now taking my hyaluronic acid. This is the Inculus hyaluronic acid. You just want literally a tiny bit. I don't think you can say like that much. Um, but I'm really happy that it's summer, officially summer. That makes me so happy got so much to do in terms of just like wedding planning that's what i wanted to talk to you about so yesterday was such a good day i have been wedding dress shopping now for about a month um i've been into free shops and i was finding it a little bit tricky um i'm gonna be completely honest with you like i've put on a lot of weight in terms of like since i had luke just in general and i feel like i've managed it pretty well in terms of like my self-esteem like i try to obviously i have up, up days and down days but recently i've been a lot better in like just trying to accept my body for how it is and stuff like that i knew i wanted to um lose some weight for the wedding but um i guess like wedding dress shopping kind of triggered me a little bit because i hadn't al always had an idea in my head of what i wanted to look like and when i tried on the wedding dresses I didn't look the way that I thought that I that the image that I had in my head that I've had in my head since I was like 10 years old right so yeah that was difficult for me okay I'm taking my glow recipe avocado ceramide serum now yeah so that was difficult for me and I couldn't uh, decide on a dress that I wanted um but yesterday I finally chose my wedding dress which I'm so excited about um I'm so happy that I've like finally got it um decided on what I wanted I honestly didn't think I was ever gonna have that moment where I was just like okay like I'll say yes to the dress kind of thing but yesterday I was just like I found one I think really flattered my shape that I felt confident in and then I was just like fuck it like just gonna say yes and I did it so that is the one thing ticked off the list I'm so happy about so yeah yesterday was quite a celebratory day for me my your good skin um antioxidant day cream obviously at the moment i don't know if you guys know but it is the queen's jubilee so we're having a four day well two day bank holiday weekend um so yesterday we went um i think i did get a little little bit of footage of that um we went to covent garden and there, there was this um uh, Conk Garden Jubilee party like for kids and stuff so we went there and that was really fun and um afterwards I've got footage of it as well so you would have seen it or I'll insert it here something like that um 
but basically we went so i'm just gonna we went to um so one of my favorite christmas films and i know i'm talking about christmas films in june which is just like but ugh, um it's relevant to the story so one of my favorite christmas films is last christmas and it is um a fairly relatively new new um i think it's called last christmas if it's not i'll insert the name here um it's a fairly relatively new christmas film and they film a lot like around london so one of the uh, we went to one of the parks that they um feature in the film and um which was really cool because it's literally around the corner from Tottenham court road and obviously we were there at the time so we went and popped in and it was really cool to see it so it was like a little bit of um fangirling moment for me so yeah little little backstory of why, why we went to this random park but yeah it was just because it was in the film and it's one of my favorite films so yeah okay i'm gonna end this short little clip now um i'm putting my spf on which is the thank you farmer sun project factor 50 remember to wear your spf guys so important especially now we're getting into warmer weather um so what we're doing today is not a lot i've got a lot of stuff to catch up on so it's going to be like a gisting day for me um but tomorrow we're having a few people over um just to end the bank holiday weekend we were going to do a barbecue but i don't know if it's going to be raining so we're going to go to iceland and maybe see if we can get a few bits to just put in the freezer um just in case it is raining and we can't do the barbecue so yeah just got the shopping in and thought i would give you a little quick um haul of what we got okay so starting with the non-food items uh we picked up the this charcoal for the barbecue tomorrow which fingers crossed fingers how the hell do you cross your fingers fingers crossed um we can use tomorrow for the barbecue I got a deodorant, this is just from Poundland. Um, I think this is a toilet, oh yeah, a toilet blocker. I'm not too sure what this does. This is Jack's area. He likes to get these things for the toilet. Um, so yeah. These are just some plastic plates for outdoor. I do have a couple of um, like an outdoor um, crockery set, but not too many bits. So I thought I'd get two extra plates in case we do end up being able to eat outside tomorrow and then some cotton rounds desperate need for these these were also from Poundland so they're, that's quite good value two for a pound <clears throat> now onto the food bits um Jack got some raspberries two packs because he is going to be making this thing here tomorrow he saw it in I think it was like the Tesco magazine or something and was like yeah I really want to make that so Yes, he's going to be making that. Um, and I think he got the custard for that reason as well. Um, we've got some Mrs. Ellswood's burger gherkins for the burgers tomorrow. Um, we've got six burger buns. I don't know if we need six, but, you know. Um, some Pringles. I got some grated cheese. I'm going to be making some... Um, I can't even remember. I'm going to be making some nachos tomorrow. So I got that. And then I also got this text next it to go along with it. Which I've just noticed has broken a little bit. Which isn't great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be making some nachos tomorrow. Then I've got these TGI Fridays and mac and cheese bites. So I thought it would be nice to have on the side. Who doesn't like mac and cheese bites, right? TikTok. They had like a free for two deal in Iceland or something um so we've got the six mint lamb kuftas chicken skewers and we also got this chicken fajita sizzle sticks i thought that would be nice like a compliment to the barbecue i also got one of these spaghetti bolognese because if you don't know get to know i am obsessed with spaghetti bolognese it's my favorite meal ever and when i see like little fancy ready meals like this i'm like oh my god yes please i had another one from carluccio's the other week which was really good as well um i got some 
crispy shredded salt and pepper chicken to have on the side. I also picked up some of these vegan sausage rolls. Um, I usually eat like the normal ones, but um, people come to the barbecue tomorrow don't eat pork, so and I don't generally eat pork either, so um, we just got some of those just to have on the side because you know what? It's the Great British Jubilee or whatever. We've got to have some sausage rolls. Um, then I picked up one of these garlic cheese flatbreads as well, which looked really good. I don't know if this is like a restaurant brand because Iceland has like all the restaurant brands and I've never heard of Piccolino, but um, yeah, it looks good. And then lastly, just some burgers. was close up my jean vlog look at, oh, look. Look at me isn't he just he's not even a puppy like it's nearly his second birthday actually um and he's still this adorable like please you know he's ridiculously adorable he's ignored the massive spot on my nose that I woke up with today is we're in a really unfortunate position isn't it anyways there, there are worse things in life so I didn't close the vlog out properly it's actually uh Wednesday today the 8th of June so a few days before or after um 
I last vlogged and yeah I I think it's gonna be another short and sweet one to be honest with you um I feel like at the moment I'm constantly being like sorry like it's been a whirlwind and it literally has I think I was saying this the other day but it almost feels like we've gone back to like pre-covid times but it's almost even busier and I don't know if it is or if it's just because we've had two years where it's just not been like this um so yeah starting a new job um there's been a lot on my plate recently so I feel like I've not been able to give everything like a hundred percent um not just been within vlogging but maybe just like within like in general like I've just not been able to do everything to like 100% of my ability because I'm taking on too much ultimately but that's a flaw of mine that I know I need to work on so stay tuned for um, character development and I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of June enjoy the sun the sun is shining it has been raining the last couple of days actually but um we'll ignore that and I guess I'll see you in July you have a lovely month whatever you're up to, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye. I made it where I'm at on my own.